have lots of gigabytes of unfinished games. Today I'll show you five and tell you why they were abandoned. First, the Witch game. This one was made with an artist I made my other game Oink Defense with. The ideas for the game were generated by a stupid neural network, based on a lot of data of Game Ideas subreddit. There is a wizard, a player, who spawns, and the point of the game is to... I've no idea. You go running around the platforms, there are zombies. I mean, one zombie? Because it's a test level? This was supposed to be a hungry crazy drunk something, actually? But let's call it a zombie. There's a kind of a combat system in the game. You can use a wand to shoot magic balls. If they hit your enemy or the enemy hits you, you play rock, scissors, paper with the zombie. If you win, you take away food from the zombie. But if the zombie wins, it takes food from you. If you have no food, you die. I guess that's how it works in real life. You got it. The game had no goal. That's why we didn't finish it. 2. The Torch Game This one was a game with unique movement. A simple platformer, except you have no buttons. You might ask, what am I supposed to do then? Well, tap. 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 Untap bit squares your velocity and creates if there isn't one. Forget it. I have no idea how it works myself. I liked the moves, so I tried experimenting with them. But here came a problem. Nobody else seemed to understand how to move. And I thought, what's the point of making a game if nobody will be able to play it? But if you want to try it yourself, link is down below. 3. A 2D Shooter Take a look at this game. Does it look similar to something else? Exactly! This was Danny's Carlson 2D clone. I only figured it out after making some dev progress. I liked the game because it was fun. But do I want to be a plagiary? Absolutely not. So I decided not to make it any further. 4. The Wild West Strategy Making a strategy like Clash of Clans is the dream of many developers. Apparently, it's not that simple. This game was meant to be something like Clash of Clans in Wild West, as you probably guessed. I made some buildings, camera movement, which was not smooth at all. I learned how to make a grid system and how to place things on the grid. Even how to save the grid and not let other buildings be placed on top. But it took a lot of time, and I faced some crazy bugs I hadn't met before. It was too hard. I had too little experience for that. But I might come back to it later. 5. The Evolution Two years ago, I teamed up with some newbies game developers like me and took part in a game jam. We had to do something with Evolution, but we picked a difficult game. We had no time to finish it, but we learned lots of new things, like working with pathfinding. It's when a player or a monster finds it nearest way to something. At this case, it's player's movements and the monster following the player. That's basically it. We had no time to do anything else, but it had surely not been a waste of time. Summing it up, it have been fun two years with tons of unfinished projects. But I learned lots from them. And more importantly, why I didn't finish them and how not to repeat my mistakes.